Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also check me out on Instagram where I post pictures of my notes and also put out some daily MCQs. The reference time for all the topics that I am going to cover will be mentioned down in the description. So check that out and let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about the base of support, stability and we will also see what is the difference between stability and balance. There is a very fine difference, but it's very important. Okay. So starting with the base of support. So if you look at the definition of base of support, it is area below the object that includes every point of contact object makes with the supporting surface. So if you take Joe, when he's standing, he'll make, he'll be making contact with the ground right over here like this. So then if you take his footsteps, the area between his footsteps will also be considered for the base of support. Then if you take a paw of a cat or a tiger, the area between these segments will also be considered under base of support. If you take a table with four corners, it will be a rectangular base of support, right? So that is the base of support. And as this base of support increases, it gives a better stability. So now how is this relevant in biomechanics? So before we see that first we need to understand what is stability or the word stable. So the word stable if you look at it, it is basically not likely to fall or firmly attached. Now firmly attached will come to this later because stability we can see in two ways. But if you look at the first one that is not likely to fall, it's pretty self explanatory, right? So this stability will increase when your center of gravity is close to the base of support. And second one is when your line of gravity is within the base of support. Now I've covered what is center of gravity, line of gravity in my previous video. I'll link it over here so you can check that out if your concept about that is not clear. But even though if you have not watched that video and even if you don't watch this video too, I can challenge you that you already know this concept. Your body already knows this. It's just that your theoretical knowledge about this concept is not present in your conscious mind, but your body still knows this. Now let me explain you how. So to explain this, I'm going to give you two situations. Okay. First is walking on a slippery floor and second is carrying a heavy luggage. Now taking this two situation, I'll explain how center of gravity, keeping it close to the base of support helps you in increasing stability and line of gravity, keeping it inside the base of support can help you in increasing the stability. And more interestingly, your body already knows it. Okay. So now look at my friend walk from here to here. So as you can see now there was his normal gait, right? Now if I tell him that this floor is very slippery and if I ask him to walk again, how will he walk? Okay, stop. So now if you can see his base of support over here is increased, right? And also his center of gravity which is over here is reduced, right? Because the stability over here is compromised because of the slippery surface. He's trying to increase his stability by increasing his base of support over here. And then second thing he's doing is he's getting his center of gravity closer to the base of support, which is helping him improving his stability on a slippery surface. So here, as I told you guys, even though he doesn't know the two points that I just mentioned to you, he automatically got into that position without even thinking. Okay. So now the second scenario, imagine he's lifting that luggage. So that is not that heavy. Now imagine that that luggage is very, very, very heavy. What will you do? Okay. So as you can see, he started compensation, right? So he started leaning on the other side. Now, why is he doing that? His center of gravity is over here and the line of gravity is passing right through. Correct. Now, why is this happening? Because first, when he was in a normal position with a very heavy luggage, his center of gravity, which was over here, because he uh, he picked up a very heavy luggage, his center of gravity moved towards that side because it is on the heavier side, right? And then to get it back into his base of support over here, right? The base of support. What did he do? He leaned on the other side and got it right back in the center. So again, without knowing the concept of line of gravity, base of support, our body automatically goes into compensation to increase the stability. So now that we have understood stability, what is the use of stability? 
so basically we can reduce the stability to train balance okay that is the connection that you need to see so when we reduce the stability of us we can train our balance which we get through proprioception vestibular input and also visual input and also some amount of muscle strength too so basically balance can be trained by reducing your base of support and challenging your center of gravity by what we can challenge it by giving some weights on unilateral side or we can also challenge it by giving perturbation that is the sudden disturbance movement like this right so by reducing base of support giving perturbation and giving weight on one side we can challenge the person and train his balance by reducing his stability so i hope your concept about stability is clear now another small thing i wanted to add over here is stability can also be looked in another way that is your scapula has to be stable to create an overarm movement so what do i mean by this when you are throwing a ball at a distance this high power force can only be generated when you have a stable scapula and a stable base is very much important when a high power activity has to be done so if i take joe over here if he has to jump up he needs a very firm base if his base is very unstable like a sand he cannot jump as high as jumping from a very firm tile base right or a rock so that is how a stability can be looked in another way that is having a strong base to create a force or generate force so basically those are the two ways one is the base of support and the balance part of stability and the second one is creating a stable base for creating force right so we'll keep that aside for now now let's go on to the balance so balance is basically your ability to keep the center of gravity okay center of gravity this one within the base of support in static and dynamic situations so as you can see keeping the center of gravity within the base of support the ability is balance and this ability you get through three ways that is through proprioception through vestibular input and through visual input that is basically what is proprioception it is the ability that you have to tell where your joints are positioned in space meaning if i ask you to close your eyes and do a thumbs up you can still do a thumbs up right why is that possible this is possible because the muscles and joint proprioceptors which are present in your thumbs and hand they will send signal to your brain saying okay now your thumb is in thumbs up position and that's how without even looking at your hand you can do a thumbs up position so that is your proprioception next is the vestibular vestibular input is given to you by the semicircular canal and the autolithic organs which provides signal to your cerebellum it directly sends signal to your cerebellum and tells where is your head positioned in space okay and then the third one is the visual input that is basically maintaining your eye at the same level so when you tilt on one side your eyes are not at the same level right and that's when you know that you are not in the equilibrium position so these are the main three components of balance and what is balance it is the ability to keep the center of gravity within your base of support now the last point that i wanted to mention was the vestibular and visual system they work together and create something called as vestibular ocular reflex now this is ability that you have when you are turning your head you can still keep your eye at only one position and this reflex is called as the vestibular ocular reflex okay so now let's summarize the topic we talked about base of support then we saw what is stability and the balance difference so basically stability consists of two components right one was about balance that is when you reduce the stability you can train balance and the other one was giving the stable base for your joint to create force right that is like training your scapular muscles so that you can throw ball way further away right so that is the firmly attached part and then the not likely to fall was the balance component and under this what did we see we saw that the center of gravity as it is very close to the base of support it will increase the stability and as the line of gravity goes outside the base of support it will reduce the stability and we can use two of these components to train balance and balance is your ability to keep the center of gravity within the base of support which you do through proprioception vestibular input and visual input so with that we finish off this topic that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you like my video please share it with your friends Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like the video as it really helps me out. Also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover.
and see you soon in the next video